Hey guys, guess what just arrived? Real Link. <laughs> so thanks Real Link for sending me this camera to review. And to it's a Wi-Fi 6 camera. It's a RLC 810WA. And I'm gonna walk you through the process. So my daughter is just calling me. And then we can go through the unboxing and set up of this camera. Right, so let's have a look at what's in the box. Okay. Get the leaflets, the camera and the cables. It's a Wi-Fi 6 camera, Wi-Fi 6, and yeah, okay, this is what you get in the box, this for the sleeve waterproofing, 1 meter cable, 2 antennas, power adapter, extension cord, mounted screws, the camera, some paper, reflects, Mountain template, operations instruction. Uh, Hi, baby girl. Uh, you wanna help daddy? Uh, you want to help daddy? Uh, yeah? You wanna touch this? What's uh, this? Uh, yeah? Grab it. Good girl. You wanna help daddy? Uh, you wanna help daddy install the camera? Uh, okay, good girl. Daddy. Yes? Oh. Uh. Ah, nice, good girl. The installation process is quite simple. Follow the instruction on the leaflet. Install one meter cable, connect to the power, find it on your network, install it, then connect to the Wi-Fi. After you finish that, then it should work on the Wi-Fi. Okay, I've created some kind of template to install this camera. I got this one here, so this will be my test board. So what I will do is install this under here. So the garage still opens, and yeah, so this will be a good test piece. And then I can rotate it and install it. So first, you put your templates where you want it, drill the holes, and install the cameras. Okay, what I've temporarily done now is install the wires through there, through that slip of through there and then running through this obviously when i want to permanently install this camera i will put a junction box on for this test it should be okay and then once it's all done you position this how you want it and turn this cap voila and it's done we test now the wi-fi speed on the wi-fi 6 um connection on the five gigahertz you can see that the speed has increased a lot even though the signal is only showing one bar i'm surprised how the speed is showing as you can see on this speed test i'm doing which i'll put right here you see that the speed is really really good for a wi-fi 6 camera the reason for this is because there are less there are more wi-fi band on Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi, and mean there is less saturation on that band and band bandwidth, which then improves the connectivity. And based on where my camera is, it is quite far away. Um, I will show you a, a diagram now showing you me drawing it. Wi-Fi is here, and the camera is all the way there, so it goes through multiple walls, and the speed is still really good. So I'm impressed with this. So the installation manual was quite spot on. I followed that straight away and step by step and I installed the camera, no problem. And the router that I have is a Virgin Media Hub 5, which is a Wi-Fi 6 camera, Wi-Fi 6 hub. <laughs> and it goes perfectly well with this Wi-Fi 6 camera, which enables me to connect it to the distance it is from my router, which I will install a clip, a photo, 
shot somewhere here to show where my router is and also actually i'll take a video so video from here my router and i walk outside to the door outside to the garage see exactly how far it is and and i'm getting good signal obstacles wise i'll say shown on the clip i posted earlier on there's a few doors um walls and stuff on the way so it does impact on the range on the normal wi-fi but the wi-fi is kind of um what router it does tackle this easily um also in terms, regards to suggestions how to improve it i'll say nothing really to be improved <laughs> it's already very good so like i don't really find any fault with the camera itself so i'll say spot on products what on real link um continue doing a very good job and i always enjoy trying out new cameras <laughs> yeah so i can't wait to try another one and thank you for the opportunity